Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen Welton and today I'm here with Cheryl from Victoria Teas and Coffees and we're going to be talking about all things teas and coffees today and we're going to give you some information about the store, its history and of course its amazing products. Cheryl, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your time and taking me through the store. Thank you for coming. This is awesome. No, we, we're in the beautiful town of Niagara on the Lake, which is very historical. And so is this building. It was built in 1835. We have the original floorboards. We have the original heating. Everything is pretty much untouched. We, we added a few things. And it used to be a general store. That was the uh, butcher. You can just imagine right. butcher counter, yeah, the butcher yeah. shop, which is now our cafe, and um, I just love the history of it. Mm -hmm. and one of the things that I love about Niagara Lake, as soon as you drive and you park, it feels like history just weighs down on you in such a lovely way. This is one of my favorite places, the, the town, but also this store. Obviously, it's very special to me. If you are not new to my channel, you will know how much I love my teas and coffees. There are so many different kinds of teas here. Green teas, Roy Boss, black tea, white tea, white tea, and I do have to say the last tea that I received from here, thank you so much for that, mm -hmm. was the cucumber melon, and it is such a lovely green tea. It doesn't have a really heavy grassy note, which I really like, mm -hmm. and it's so refreshing. Well, last time we were talking about the different kinds of teas, and you were talking about the ice wine teas. The ice wine is very exclusive to Niagara on the Lake. Mm -hmm. It's made with the extracts of the white Riesling grape, and the alcohol, of course, is burnt off. Okay. And it's got kind of like a grapey, mapley, sweet taste. It's very, very unique, and we sell a lot of it. And they can have it in tea, and we also have it in coffee. I just learned that from looking at your front <laughs> window. I didn't yes. realize that there was ice wine coffee. Yeah, and in the summer, we will have strawberry ice wine and wow. blueberry ice wine. We also have chocolate ice wine truffle, brandy ice wine. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, the ice wine is, makes mm -hmm. a beautiful coffee. So now we're in the coffee section, standing right where I learned so much before, and this is the estate coffee. Can you explain what estate coffee is? Estate coffee is grown in one estate, but the, the estate is very unique because it comes from Colombia. Mm -hmm. Ethiopia, Costa Rica, and it's just from that region. Okay. So that makes it very unique. Okay, we have the 100% Kona, which is from one estate, and it's smooth and delicious and very low in acidity. And we also have 100% Jamaican Blue, which is grown on a, a mountain, and it makes the flavors just amazing. So we do have both of these flavors, and we keep them behind the counter. They're very special. Yes, yes. <laughs> And we sell so much of it. People know we sell it, and it's it's gone every week. Every week we get it in, every week it's gone. It's just phenomenal. So you have the beans shipped in, and then you package it yourself? Yes. Okay. We have a, a local roaster okay. that we've had for over 30 years. Wow. His uncle did it, and now his, the nephew has taken over. He's an amazing guy. I can't give any information out because he's so special <laughs> right. to us. Yes, you want to lose him. No, we don't want to lose him. <laughs> no. or, <laughs> So he roasts the coffee for us mm -hmm. on a Wednesday, and okay. we get it on a Thursday, and we package it all by hand in the back. It's a very, very long process, but we do it every week. <laughs> wow, and that's a very hands-on thing. I, mm -hmm. you know, you don't hear that about other stores about packaging it in-house at all. So no. that makes it extra special. All done by hand, scoop after scoop into, into all these bags. So we got something for everybody's palate. Now we're in the specialty and fair trade section. Can you explain to me what the fair trade means for our viewers? Okay, fair trade is also organic. A lot of people love the organic because it doesn't have any chemicals okay. or it's not near a farm mm -hmm. that uses chemicals. Mm -hmm. And fair trade means that pickers are paid fair wages. Mm -hmm they're not cut back like some countries are unfortunately mm -hmm. yeah. so it is a little bit more expensive but you're getting the fair trade and the organic and sometimes people want they're willing to pay that there's so many different kinds here of the fair trade and organic 
What's your favorite? I would have to say I like the Nicaraguan okay. SHG because it's com it's comparable to Kona. Okay. The six bean is what we use in the cafe. Okay. That's espresso. Yeah. And then the Italian is, is a little bit more robust. Okay. Just to let you know, the four star gourmet is what we use for our flavored coffees because it's a well-balanced coffee oh. and we find that it's it's a really nice balance and that's why we use it for all our flavored coffees. So these flavored coffees don't come from an outside source, it's done inside, like in-house? From it's your person? From our person, right. yes. He, he flavors them. What he does, he'll take a five pound bag of the Four Star Gourmet and he'll add pure and natural extracts and then when the beans are still hot, and then he does, he'll move the bag mm -hmm. around and every bean gets covered with the extract. So it's just so beautiful. <laughs> it's so flavorful. So here's a burning question. Mm -hmm. How do you come up with the flavors? Oh my gosh. Some of the flavors you can find places like Jamaican mm -hmm. Me Crazy and Irish Cream. Um, our exotic section, we had a lot of fun with that, making up the names. Mm -hmm. And one of our um, girls went to a cafe and had banafe pie. So she thought that would make a good coffee. Yeah. So we talked to our coffee guy, said, can you make banafe pie? He said, sure. <laughs> and we got that and caramel popcorn. It's just a lot of them we thought up ourselves. And he's so open, our coffee guy, to doing whatever we want, mm -hmm. basically. Okay, now let's talk decaf. What makes decaf decaf and how is it done? Okay, our decaf, some places use chemicals, but we don't. We use it using Swiss water, so the beans get washed with the Swiss water, and it, the more you wash the beans, the more caffeine gets removed. What's the newest decaf? It's decaf sea salt caramel mocha. And you can do anything in decaf, the flavored coffee. Right. You just have to ask us ahead of time, mm -hmm. and we can order it in for you. Mm. And so do they have to commit to a five pound bag? Yes. yes. Yeah. But if you're a committed decaf drinker, you then it's worth that. it. Yes. Earlier we were talking about the exotic coffees and you were talking about how much fun it was to create oh. these names. This is the exotic coffee section and we have the, oh my gosh, the Jamaica Me Groggy. <laughs> what is this one? It is a mixture of Jamaica Me Crazy and Highlander's Grog. So you're going to get Kahlua, Caramel, Vanilla and a little bit of Scotchy flavor. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Caramel, popcorn, chocolate, coconut. Yeah, chocolate, coconut, caramel sandwich. That's a big name. <laughs> Orange amaretto. And we have French amaretto, which has vanilla instead of the orange. Oh, nice. Pina colada. Oh, that would be a different coffee. Yeah, Nutty Irishmen, a lot of people buy it for their Irish friends. Oh, <laughs> oh that's You know, cute. they want to call them nutty, right? Oh my, Henry is the, like the chocolate bar. White raspberry, white Russian. Oh yeah, there's just, it's just awesome. So they're exotic because they're, they're different. Mm -hmm. And they have whiskey and they have pineapple and they have a lot mm. of different exotic flavors. Okay, now we're in another dreamy section and this is the flavored coffees. This is where you're going to be able to find all sorts of fun names and really amazing flavors. Once you have our coffee, you can't go back. <laughs> and one of the things too is when you come to the store, all the bags, they're whole beans. So you can choose to take the whole beans home with you or you can have them ground custom here as well. What is the most popular flavor of coffee? Jamaica Me Crazy is Kahlua Caramel and Vanilla. I mean, how can that not be good? And chocolate raspberry is also good. Nutty Italian is very oh, nice as well. I bet. I love vanilla almond chocolate because mm -hmm. I'm a chocolate fanatic. But you know what? Everybody has their favorite. Mm -hmm. It just depends on what you like. And so the same story goes here. The beans are shipped here. Then you give them to your special scientist. Yes. And he creates all these wonderful and beautiful flavors. And we just keep adding and adding. Mm -hmm. The grind is really important and would you like to explain that to us? Yes, we always ask people when they when they come up they want their coffee ground. They're like, yeah, okay. And then we have to ask them what kind of coffee maker. Well, because different coffee makers, it depends on your coffee grind. Like if you have a cone filter, it's fine because it's got to get through that little spot. If you have a French press, 
It has to be coarse because it's got to get that mushy mm. consistency. Espresso is very fine as well. So it's really important to get that proper grind to get that flavor to come out. And what I like to do, I love buying coarse personally because I love my French press, mm -hmm. but when I'm going to use it in my coffee maker, I have a little grinder at home, so I just grind enough for that pot of coffee. Yeah. And then that way, because you can't ungrind something, so, so it's better to go down lower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now we are in the cafe, and you were saying that in the summer, this place is a nut house. Oh, it is. Sometimes we have three girls working here. Oh my gosh, just behind the counter? Yes. Wow. One will be on cash, one will be making the drinks, and the other one will be doing gelato and teas and stuff. Santa Claus Parade, oh my goodness, we have a lineup and it goes all the way out the door. I bet. We give out candy canes while people wait. <laughs> but people will wait because yeah. it's fresh milk, mm -hmm. freshly ground espresso, everything is fresh. And that's why people like it. They are willing to wait for it. And you have gelato here? Yes, okay. real Italian gelato oh. from a little family and they're named Louie oh, and Lucy. Yes. And they're from Ridgeway and they're an amazing couple. Mm -hmm. And we have two sorbets which are, there's no dairy. And then we have dark chocolate, sea salt, caramel, raspberry cheesecake. Oh like, my gosh. They're just delicious, they're so good. They sound delicious. Mm -hmm. And now you have a new addition here. Yes, so excited. We're launching our smoothies. There's one called Mango Madness, which we tested last mm -hmm. weekend and we gave out samples. People love it. So you're gonna have to come down and have a smoothie. They're delicious, so I think it's gonna be a good hit this summer. There's so many things here that are local. Your scientist is local. Yes. The gelato is local. That's really, really amazing. I love hearing that. The shop is owned by a couple that lives in Niagara on the Lake, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. And my husband said, they're hiring at your favorite tea shop. And I was only out of a job for a month and I came down and they hired me. So I've been here almost 12 years. Wow. So I love it. Yeah. They'll have to drag me out of here kicking and screaming <laughs> when I'm 70 years old. <laughs> and you'll still be coming here to drink a coffee yes, and tea. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so now let's talk about accessories. And there are some new additions that you were extremely excited about. Last time I was here, I mm -hmm. drooled all over this. It's absolutely beautiful. Yes. Like the plates and the teapots and the cups. And we it's selling. Mm -hmm. You either love China or you don't. And we have a lot of China lovers in this area. And with the accessories in the store, you will find an array of products from regular teapots to character teapots that are so unbelievably cute. Mm -hmm. There's teacups, espresso cups. I noticed that you also have French presses and I believe you have espresso yes, makers espresso as well. Yes, espresso makers. Mm -hmm. So anything that you can imagine that you would need to have that amazing cup of coffee or cup of tea you will find right here. The tea cozies are made by a lady in British Columbia. Oh, very nice. So they're all handmade, so they're really good quality. Beautiful, and there's so many different styles of teapots. Mm -hmm. I already see a Japanese teapot. I see an English teapot. These are new. Those are beautiful. Yeah, we just got those the other day, and we've got them in the, the taupey color, and we have them in navy blue as well. We have several character teapots. They come by a company called Blue Sky, and they're an actual teapot. This guy's got a little teacup on his head, and the tail is the handle, and you actually can make tea in them, and you can, they're fully functional. We have several dogs, jukebox, we have a toaster, a camper, rollerblades. Yeah, this is our poodle, our black dandered poodle, and he's got the sad little eyes, and the little puffy hair and, and his tail is the handle and his little mouth is the where you pour it out. I want to let everyone know that we are dog friendly. We love dogs to come in our shop. We even have some dog cookies for them. And now we're in one of my dream places. I love tea. And as I mentioned earlier, the last bag that I tried was the cucumber melon. Oh my goodness it's a really light and refreshing green tea with hints of cucumber and melon it is so good hot i can't wait to try it ice i'm actually going to cold brew it i can't mm -hmm. wait to try that yeah it's great ice a lot of our teas are really good iced mm -hmm. and we will switch it up and serve them in the cafe the majority of our teas are loose leaf people like that better but we do have some tea baggers who still like to have that the dipping tea bag so we do have quite a section of tea bags so anything in a gold mm. package 
is tea bags mm -hmm. and anything in a black package is loose tea. Now what do you feel is your best selling tea? Our Canadian and our British teas are really popular. Of course the ice wine, Buckingham Palace is Earl Grey and Jasmine. The Jasmine gives you happy thoughts so it's it's very calming. Cream of Earl Grey which is oh. Earl Grey with, with vanilla. Peach apricot has really been popular lately. Winter cherry is an herbal tea and it's got the, the cherries but it's caffeine free. Mm -hmm. Guy Roku. A green tea, it's one of the finest green teas you can buy. It's just amazing, it's just so mellow. And green tea is so full of vitamins and antioxidants. Mm -hmm. It's really good for you. Tea is really good for you in many ways. I believe it. I actually did a video in my series talking about the benefits of green tea, but it's such a great tea for mornings, for afternoons. I don't usually have it at night because of the caffeine, but there's also matchas as well. You sell matcha here, correct? Yes, we do have matcha. We have green matcha. We have the Japan Izu matcha, chai matcha, peppermint matcha. We also have rooibos matcha. Now the way matcha works is you actually, it's the powder of the green tea bud and they ground it up and you actually ingest it. Because mm -hmm. tea, usually you throw the tea leaves away after you make it, but the matcha you ingest. Mm -hmm. And I have a smoothie every morning with the rooibos matcha. It's just so incredibly good for you. And when you ingest the entire thing, you're also ingesting all of those antioxidants as well as the vitamins. You're not throwing those away, which is really great. We get all our teas from a, a, a company in Toronto. Now, do you do they flavor it or do you <clears throat> flavor them? The company we use does everything for okay. us. We okay. get it in big bags and we package it in our bags. A lot of uh, labor intense work here. <laughs> I bet, but I bet it's very enjoyable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Roy Boss is from South Africa. It is grows on a red bush, so it's called a red bush tea, some people call it. There's no caffeine. It's full of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants. It is so good for you. We had a customer that had really bad eczema and she started drinking actually the blueberry Roy Boss and her eczema calmed down. It was amazing. It's nice for children as well because it have no caffeine. We have 216 teas in our store. And a wow. portion of that is a rooibos. The whole top shelf is all rooibos. Like we have Thai lemon ginger, blueberry, pecan pie, Belgium chocolate. It's just endless. And then we have white teas and uh, herbal teas and green teas and black teas. Mm -hmm. Teas galore. Yes, yes, yes. Tea is, teas are us for sure. <laughs> For those of you who may not live in this area, please do not despair because you can order online and have it shipped to you. Cheryl, how does that happen? Yes, we do have a very safe online service and we deliver to Canada and the US. Okay. And we do a lot of orders, especially during COVID. Oh my gosh, we had so many orders. So you can go to www dot victoria dot com and you can order from there we also are on social media we're on facebook twitter instagram and so check out our facebook page we have a, a lot of really funny things on there we had a, a couple um in on the weekend and it was a bachelor party with a guy and he was dressed like a sunflower oh. it was so fun they bought coffee they were having the time of their lives it was amazing so do check out our social media and I will be sure to add all of the links in the description below I want to say a special thank you to Cheryl for allowing me to come here and do this this was an absolute dream to do it and you were such a wonderful host thank Victoria you. Teas and Coffees in Niagara on the Lake is such a special place and I hope that you will come and find out for yourself and experience the love and the wondrous things that are here. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep on filming. Bye for now.